Mabuhay everyone! This is your boy Marches and here's another unboxing and semi-performance review of this awesome sneaker. So guys, if you're not too familiar with this, this is the Puma All Pro Nitro and this is in the theme violet. So it has a lot of purple hints all throughout the sneaker and I believe that the theme violet is actually a collection from Puma because I went to the store and I seen some um, clothes that are having the same theme of the colorway and also the All Pro Elite which is the higher version of this one supposedly it's more expensive so I believe it will be uh, the more premium or the big brother of the All Pro and it has a drop in midsole and hopefully I could uh, do a comparison and performance review of that soon so I'm waiting for that pair to come and shout out again Puma Philippines for sending this over and letting me review again and some differences from the previous All Pro Nitro because the All Pro Nitro has been out for quite some time already and I actually had two pairs already I had the Scoot Henderson which I already sold and this one is the team colorway which is like a cookies and cream a black and white or a colorway which is dope and the only difference that I can see here are the packaging from the two this came with the traditional Puma a box which has a nice texture to it like a ball texture on the box to it but it's a black and white box but with the new uh, new revamped box of the All Pro Nitro it has this All Nitro All Pro this, then there's a Nitro here on top um, on the box it has this purple team violet colorway which is dope I think yeah they really made this one extra special for this collection uh, including the box and it also includes uh, which is not present in the uh, the old all pro that i bought the two didn't have this material details kit on, in the inside and this came with this one uh, there's no extra laces on the team violet one but this is dope which i hope uh, all shoe companies will be giving out this type of tech specs because uh, like a sneaker nerd like me I would really like to know what I'm paying for what the what the tech is in the sneaker and even though if you can just print it up in the box it will be nice don't need to print it on a separate sheet but just give us the tech specs of this especially basketball sneakers we would love to see the tech that it has so for the all pro nitro it has a TPU plate, which is this one, uh, which gives you a very nice lockdown feel to the sneaker. And the mesh upper, which is almost same with the Team All Pro. It has some plastic TPU piece and nice leather. This one has a tumbled leather. You can see that it has a tumbled leather for the upper of this one. While on the Team Violet, it has a more iridescent finish, which I like because when you're looking at on pictures, it kind of changes colors depending on the angle, which is dope, especially this part too. And the other parts of the sneaker is mesh material. And what's nice about the All Pro Nitro is this, you can see this straps that goes down, this wires. So it really holds your foot down to the forefoot area and pulls your foot down and gives you a better fit to the sneaker and gives you that extra lateral support that you need. So it runs and goes up here so that when you're doing lateral moves, it will give you the support that you need on the ultra nature. And um, same play style with this colorway, with the other colorway excellent lateral support very nice fit and for the fit of this one um, I think it will be good for wide footers because there's extra room in the forefoot I think I could still go a half size down on the all pro uh, because there's a little bit of toe space I remember jamming my foot on this one because 
I didn't uh, really tighten up the laces. Uh, it's, uh, it's my fault and I jammed because of there's a little of wiggle room in the forefoot. So I jammed my nail and um, my, my nail died. So that's one thing to consider. I think I could go half a size down, but if you're a wide footer, go through to size. That's what I recommend and that's a traditional lacing system and a very nice padded tongue too with the all pro and all around heel containment lockdown very nicely padded lockdown very good on oh, this one excellent lockdown and as for the insole as a traditional insole i won't remove it because it's sticking already and uh, ordinary strobo board too but of course the all pro which is um, really good in terms of basketball and and what I mean by that is I have the original one in this Kuzma colorway look at this one it's still with me I love playing with this one and as you can see it has a similar traction pattern with the original one it's very ultra dependable this traction pattern it grips really nicely on the floor and the rubber is quite deep but the durability wise uh, you can play with it out there but it's uh, pliable than most uh, rubber compound but it will burn out I mean outdoors if you're playing in a rough surface but it's uh, it, it will hold down I think because the rubber is kind of thick and the grooves are deep so it might not be the most durable but it's not the the most um, fragile traction rubber that you can get out in the market so I think you could hoop with this outdoors and of course the main feature of the all pro nitro is the nitro foam it's full on nitro foam which is dual density it also has this in the tech spec look this um, red piece is a different nitro density and other one is also a different density uh, there's no it just says uh, midsole, dual density midsole compound so the core is different in terms of density this one is the core the red and the whites is i think more on the more on the bounciness this white part while the red part of the nitro injected foam is more for impact protection when so when you're landing with the all pro we could feel a very nice impact protection from the forefoot to the heel and bounce back on this one is also as nice as the original one or even better in my opinion and the ride is you're not too low to the ground but you're not too high off the ground but the original ones it's i think it's lower compared to the nitro version so take that into consideration but i didn't feel any delays the responsiveness is still great on the all pro nitro um, when i played with this um, i really felt very fluid when i was moving around the court especially the traction it really holds up and i remember the first time that i used this team violet um, the floor wasn't uh, too good uh, this was a little bit of moist because it rained that evening but the traction on the all pro nitro still grips really nicely and i think it's really built for indoor use because of the pliable rubber so it kind of moves on the floor usually that's what gives us a very good indoor traction is when the rubber is kind of pliable it kind of moves that's what I mean and um, overall performance review very nice and there's a TPU shank here for stability and extra bounce back it's kind of short but it does its job it prevents it from over twisting it gives it a uh, stability plate to the sneaker and a little springiness around the top part of the midfoot so basically that is the all pro nitro again Hopefully I could compare this one with the Elite version. I'll give uh, an update on you about that as soon as I get them. And in terms of weight of the All Pro Nitro, I believe, yeah, it's pretty on the lighter side, 420 grams on a US 11. So for me, for a 450 below, it's on the lighter side. And 
that's it for my refresher on the All Pro Nitro and this is a Team Violet colorway. This is actually available now in the Puma stores here in the Philippines. If you're, if you're liking this vibrant violet color of the All Pro Nitro, it's a, it's a must have. It looks very guapo, looks very sleek, especially when you're wearing it. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.